Good morning. Now, everybody says in Vietnam it's so cheap, you can eat for so cheap. Well, today I'm going to push the limits and find out how cheap we can eat. To make it harder, we are in the most expensive city in Vietnam, Saigon. Rules of the day, three meals, no buffets, no vegetarian. How cheap can we eat? Let's find out. Apparently, early bird gets the cheap meal because it's a little bit before 6 a.m. and we got to get our first meal in. Wow. We're going back up in here. Oh. Welcome to District 4 Madness. All right. Look at this. We got to get in line. It's takeaway. So I got to turn around. All right. Welcome to Vietnamese fast food. Uh, so yeah, even though we're eating the cheapest day ever, we still get kumtam to start our morning off. It's kind of interesting waiting for bit meat food. It's the longest I've ever had to wait. No, no cutting, no cutting. She just cut. I'm getting aggressive. I'm going up here. Now, so here's what happened, right? So she sells a 15K plate of gum gum. Now the catch is it's only takeaway and she only sells it from 5 a.m. to 6. I got there six. She was done with them. <laughs> so I got a 25K and I'd argue with her for a while. Hi, hi, hi. She wouldn't let me pay. Was not able to pay. I'm gonna act like this cost me 25K, and I'm still, even sp having spent a dollar at my first place, I'm gonna show you, I can still eat under $2 for today. The pressure's on, and we're gonna do it. So we got the ultimate breakfast this morning. We're on a road, we're in a cafe, we got some drinks, but let's see what 25K can get us. Still pretty unbelievably cheap if you think about it. A dollar, and this wasn't even the cheapest version. Oh, look at that, look at that chat right there. Look how big a piece you get. Now what I like is, her actually some, it's kind of small, and so that's how you can keep it kind of cheap, right? You still get the meat. You got the uh, pickled daikon and carrot in there. We got some fried scallions and oil. We even got the pig skin that's been in that toasted rice. It's actually a pretty nice little hefty plate for a dollar. Even though I lived in Vietnam so long, sometimes I'm still so bad at opening these. Ha, she gave me two spoons. Ha, ha. She thinks I share my kum with people. Ha! So there, right there, got the fries, guys, and all. Got that with jar right there. And then I got, oh, the nice steaming hot rice. Oh, to me, that's perfect for a nice, cheap kum tam. Nice, small, broken up actual rice bits. It's fragrant, it's warm, cooked perfectly. But to me, her jar, what I like right there, are those little side bits that got a little bit burnt, a little bit crispy. But let's actually give some of that but a try this is kind of like breaking my mind right now because that bee is so juicy wow I was actually I came in with preconceived you know sometimes you think oh it's so cheap like how can it be good but man just right nice and juicy not dry really strong rice the toasted rice flavor very strong almost a little bit bitter <laughs> nutty I like that a lot and here I got to go fingers in but you see right here not a huge piece so but that's okay with me sometimes like I don't need a huge pork chop in my gum thumb to me it's more about the rice and the fish sauce if I go there I don't know if I order the pork chop again but I definitely would get the chai and I definitely would get the bee maybe try something else Woo. She's a spicy lady. That nook bomb is chili predominant. Woo. Hello. And man can I? Man can be tall. And the good chỗ hay? Đúng rồi, chỗ của chiếc xe. Dạ. <laughs> okay, okay, dude. Yeah. Uh, uh, đầy đủ ha. À, đầy đủ. Có mốc tô 10.000 được không? 
Được, okay. được không? Được. Ok. Ở đây mà là 10 ngàn nè. Cho em thử 10 ngàn. Đó, em thử 10 ngàn của anh ở nước nào? Anh Mỹ. À, ở Mỹ. Anh là người Mỹ Tho đúng không? Mỹ Tho. Anh, anh cũng về là người Mỹ. À, Mỹ, là Mỹ <cười> anh ở tiêu bang nào? À, bang Arkansas. Arkansas. À, đúng rồi. Biết chết liền luôn á. À, cho chị. So you can see <laughs> funny people. So we came out to District 8. I've never had like I don't know if I've ever had a bad experience out here. The people are like some of the funniest. So uh, this place is super special because it's got a cheap bowl of bankan, right? Um, it's a version from Meat Tall, which is out in the uh, Mekon. Uh, you can get one here just for 10k. You can get a bowl of noodles for 10k in Saigon, which is insane. Uh, if you want to pay more, you can get more things like good looking little prawns here. You got the actual muk. Uh, looks like you got little ribs of pork meat as well. And đang làm uh, live stream. <laughs> live, live stream luôn hả? Đây là đây là quảng cáo cho băng can Mỹ Tho. <laughs> yeah, đúng rồi. <laughs> Em mời ngàn khoa huyết, đây là huyết gì, huyết bò hay huyết heo hay à, huyết vị Ồ, huyết vị ngon nhất Rồi, em lấy Rồi, cảm ơn chị nha Ok Ồ Một cái, một cái, đây có bể rồi, không nào À, được Làm sao em không có nạn quá <laughs> I broke one of their chairs It was kind of already broken but whatever Look, honestly I'm going to tell you Eating cheap in Vietnam is so easy because Even when you get like a noodle like this, right? Where I had some rice, well now we get a noodle Well Vietnamese people make The best, I'm going to say it right now The best broths in the world So, that being said You don't have to have all those fillings and add-ons Because the broth itself It's gonna be so hearty, so filling, so satisfying to your taste buds. That's really all you need. And also just the assortment of like free stuff you get, insane. Like usually when you go eat like bun sale or anything like that, you get all the vegetable free, you get all these condiments for free, insane. I would normally fix me up like some fish sauce and some chili on the side. I almost feel guilty though, because I'm only paying 10K. But I talked up the broth and I haven't even tried it. I could be wrong, right? But I'm not. To me, it's all that aromatic stuff in there. It's all that fried garlic. It's that shallot. A lot of sweetness. They are Min Tai people, so they get it just a little bit sweet. But then it's the body you get from the pork meat, from the bone, the fish sauce in there. Oh my gosh, I love Vietnamese broths. Not to mention, there's more goodies in here than you think. Like one of my favorite pieces, the skin of the pig that's been kind of boiled, nice and soft, a little gelatinous-like. Oh. That's the only thing that's going to make you want to pay more per bowl is I could take about 30 more pieces of that. Now actually what I'm really curious about is can I eat <laughs> these noodles with a spoon? Look at this. They just kind of like fall off. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Fast. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is why most people usually eat this with a spoon. You definitely need the spoon. Forgive me for judging. I thought this was gonna be like the pork blood cake. I thought they were gonna keep it cheap. But instead, they doing the best. The duck. Duck blood cake is number one. Yeah, once I get this stirred up and you get down there in that bottom, You can see like these little tiny, I guess like a krill. I do not know what to call this. In English, you call that a krill. I don't know if that's actually like a root, like uh, when you make mum root, like if that's small enough to call that. Terminology does not matter. The seafood really starts to blossom from this bowl of bancan when you dig it down to the bottom and you stir it up. Oh, it's a little bit This is a nam joke, right? Năm tối bánh canh 10 ngàn Ê, Trời ơi <cười> Chào Đây là một Năm tối bánh canh 10 ngàn 10 ngàn 10 ngàn Ông chủ ăn không nổi 
<laughs> oh, so they invite me back for dinner. <laughs> people are so funny. Anyways, oh, I miss the owner. She's like, some people that come here, they can eat four or five bowls. <laughs> or you can just go back for dinner as well. Oh, let's keep it moving. This Nick's place is so tiny and crowded. Oh my God. Look at the people lining up for bun me. Can't do a eating Vietnam, especially cheap, without a bun me. I don't know if y'all can see, we're down here in Tân Bình. We're way up here at Bánh Mì Cô Điệp. Các bạn bánh mì 7 ngàn nữa không? Bán ngồi mì không nóng rồi bác Dạ Có, có, có Rồi, cảm ơn em nha Alright, we're gonna get this one and go You can see their production here 3 ngàn nữa không? Rồi, cảm ơn chú nha <cười> Rồi, cảm ơn mọi người nha Ok, this is a grab and go So, a lot of these cheap places Nowhere to be I gotta find somewhere to go eat a bun me. Oh my gosh. I am going the wrong way. Less vlogging. We're paying attention to traffic. Yeah, this looks like about a nice spot as anywhere else. The the best seat in the house, besides chef's table, right, where you're gonna watch people cook, right here on the back of your bike, eating a bun me. Would you have it any other way? Hold on, I just had I got some nasty fluid dripping on me. We gotta move. Okay, right here. I actually thought it was gonna be smaller, I'm not gonna lie. For 7K, I'm just surprised I get a piece of bread. Okay, it is a simple bun me, but the fact that you can get a bun me for 7,000 blows my mind. I mean, I had, what is it? Huynh Hoa and Ba Huynh, what are their names? The, the famous bun me down in District 1. I had them not too long ago. They're almost 70K now. I could have seven of these. Woo! The fact that I can pay 7,000 bit meat down and get flavorful, creamy, pate, with bub, and a bun me bread. It just feels like it shouldn't be possible, honestly. Oh, they gave me the chili. The chili death. Woo! I'm kind of jealous. I kind of wish I would have gotten, they're fully loaded. Because honestly, the roasted pork, the sassiel, ooh, look good, fatty, melt in your mouth. That fat taste quality, I like it with the, the butter. They actually give you a lot. I don't know how they make money on these. Maybe quantity. Cause there ain't no way they making money on one bun me. The middle though. You get more of that pate in the middle. Oh my gosh, I look like a bun me serial killer. Yes, and that's how we do it. Three things came out to 48. Thousand dollar, dollar ninety six, oh. and they're all pretty darn good, especially for the price. If you're going value for flavor, the spots I hit today are three home runs. Y'all, we are batting a thousand. We did it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. We'll catch y'all at the next one. Peace.